Alright guys, X-Plane Media here, and we are doing a review on X-Plane 10 Mobile, so let's hop right into it. So we're going to search on Google Play X-Plane 10 Mobile, we're going to click on the app, and here it is guys, by Laminar Research guys, and we're just going to take a look real quick at the um, app itself on the Google Play Store. So we're just taking a look here, and uh, we're going to look at the rating of the app, um, developer contacts, all that, so... Uh, the app has 4.2 stars, and it's pretty reasonable um, because, you know, and I'll, I'll explain later, but it is a pretty good app. So we have the uh, good review there, and of course there's a bad one right there, so you guys can look at that if you want. There's always a bad review on everything, so. Um, but yeah, so we're going to look at a little bit more about it. We're going to read more here and about this app this is just pretty much giving uh, the details of the app by the developer features aircraft scenario all that so just pretty much um, a preview of what the app is before you actually download it or open it so we're looking at this right now um, and I'll go over some of this uh, later on but just a little bit of uh, information now so we're gonna open the app so now we're on the app, and we're going to start with the flight school. Now the flight school is training with different scenarios to help you when you first get the app, or if you're new to the simulation, help you fly and learn the aircraft. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, A320 landing challenge. I'm not going to do the whole thing, just really quickly. This is what it is. Just see those little pop-ups, that's all it is, and it just helps you in the arrows, uh, arrows where you land, and that's it. And the flight school is pretty much the same concept, it just helps you out with little... Uh, snip bits. This is challenges, little fun things that you want to do for each uh, a, uh, aircraft type. And then, of course, free flight. Now, this is all the aircraft. So there's all the Cessnas. Uh, we're showing all the liveries of each plane, um, the Cirrus jet. Um, not all of them have different liveries, but most of them do. Um, most of the, actually all of the commercial aircraft do have different liveries, which is, makes sense because there is a lot of different um, uh, aviation companies that are using the same planes so of course for the helicopter as well so now we're in the jet pretty much showcasing the physics and just having some fun with it this is uh, in the cockpit view right here and this is not a good flight you'll see why I'm just messing around there's nothing serious about this but um yeah so we're just kinda messing around just showing off the uh, the flight physics with a little bit of shenanigans um, as you can see, the graphics are pretty amazing on the simulator. Of course, I don't want to be super biased and say everything good about it. So, you know, I can say some of the bad things. Um, and which is, and is the graphics. The graphics are good. Same with the 777 uh, right here. The graphics are very good. And I left the engine, or the, the sound on so you can hear the engines pull up. So I'll let that happen. Alright, so you heard that. So anyway, so some of the bad things I would say about the graphics is the runways are kind of plain. There's really no markings at the end of them, really. It's just kind of the same all the way around. But anyways, we're in the 737, and we're going to show how much you can control in it. Pretty much every button in it is touchable. Like 95% of the buttons are usable. So you can cold start it. You can do whatever. And you can also do this with the MD-11. And... I think that's it. This uh, 7, uh, 777 and the 747 are pretty limited, but they still work. Wing flex as well, as shown here on the 737. More shenanigan flights. Um, also, you can do failures, which you can fail anything on the plane pretty much that you want uh, at any time. Um, time of day, we're going to show that here. We're going to put the sunset first with the MD-11. There you go. Uh, beautiful. The shadows even follow it, as you can see there. And the American Airlines logo is also lit up. Now, putting it to nighttime, same aircraft, and I love the nighttime mode. I don't use it a lot, but I love it, because look at the lights. X-Plane, or I should I should say, Laminar Research did an amazing job with the realism of the lights, because it looks pretty, pretty dang good. Um, you can also mess with the weather, uh, whatever you want with the weather. Rain, uh, thunder, wind, uh, thermals, turbulence, you know, clouds. It's very much at your customization, wherever you like. So we have different modes here. We have Hawaii, we have Alaska, we have Washington, D.C., or I'm sorry, Washington, Grand Canyon, and then, of course, Innsbruck, Innsbruck Austria, which we're showing here with the 737. Um, nice little landing video. I'm going to speed this up eventually, but just pretty much showcasing 
uh, the scenery in Innsbruck, uh, Austria. Uh, and there is some 3D buildings as well. Another nice thing about X-Plane uh, 10 Mobile is the 3D buildings. Okay, a lot of attention to detail with that. Very nicely done uh, by a laminar research. Um, uh, one thing I wish they did have more, though, was um, more... I don't know, like, the, the the graphics on the buildings are very good, but I say, like, more details for, like, shadows and stuff, but other than that, it's pretty, it's pretty good. So, we're on final here, and, um, we got the cockpit, uh, GPWS call-ups. That landing was somehow okay, I was coming down at a horrible rate, but I fixed it, as you can see, uh, here, when I go back, there, there it is. So, you're gonna see my scary landing, um with the uh, 737 here everyone probably crapped their pants but not bad but it was pretty scary coming to that so but um yeah so pretty much good stuff for this app but there are some things uh, there's a nice little uh, external image it looks just like you know other youtubers on x-plane 11 when they do like the zoom outs and stuff so now we're going to take a look at the map and what it has to offer so these little arrow things are actually the localizers for the runways um, you can click on them, tune in to approach or whatnot, and if you click on these circles, you can go on final, like here, or if you click the runway number, you spawn directly on the runway so you can take off. Now, when we zoom out, this is the problem. It It's not that big of an area. You will pretty quickly fly across it wherever you take off from. So, so what x has to offer listed here. Um, one thing I didn't talk about, which is listed on the next one, is the multiplayer issue. For some people it works, for me it never did, but it's always there. So all in all, guys, X-Plane 10 Mobile is definitely worth it, in my opinion. Um, if you guys want global, Infinite Flight is the way to go until they have an update, which I don't know. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. X-Plane Media out.